using Hootsuite as your social media dashboard. When you first get started in social media, it can be very confusing. There are multiple websites that you both have to read and post to, and people that you should pay attention to, and people that you don't. The good news is that there are many tools available to make this process easier. I've tried many of them, and the one that I have settled on is Hootsuite, primarily because it is web-based so that I can use it on my iPhone, iPad, and my computer. It's stable, which is a real problem for a lot of standalone software, and it's constantly being upgraded. This is not to say that there are no other good tools out there. We will talk about some of them in other videos. You may find another tool that works better for you for whatever reason, but if you're just starting out and you want to try something that's free and works great, you'll be hard-pressed to find anything better than Hootsuite. First you need to sign up for a free account at Hootsuite. Then you need to add your current social media accounts. Here you'll have the ability to add almost all of your current social media accounts. You will then see all of your social media accounts running along the top next to the posting box. The only major social network that is not supported currently by Hootsuite is Google Plus and that should be rolled out in the next few months. In the settings window, you can also add an auto update to all of your social media through the RSS Atom feed. Also, be sure to fill out your account information and preferences. You can also change the theme to give it a customized look. Another good thing about Hootsuite is that it's easy to understand and navigate. On the left hand side, you'll see icons that will give you a good overview of what you can do with Hootsuite. The home button is your primary dashboard to look at incoming streams. Once you begin to follow a number of people on Twitter, you are going to want to break them down into different groups. There will be some people that you'll follow because they have great information about your industry or community. There will be other people that you will follow because they're your customers or potential customers. You may wish to separate who you are following into at least these two different kinds of groups. This will make it easier to follow either one separate from the other. To do this, go to your home button and click the button that says Add Stream. Confirm you are on Twitter and then click on the tab that says Lists. Create a new list called Industry and a new list called Customers. Then hit the Create Stream button for each one. This will create tabs for your new lists. But since you have not added anyone to either of these lists, these new streams will be empty. So, next you'll want to go down to the icon that looks like a silhouette of a head. These are your contacts. Click on your Twitter account. This will show you both people following you and people that you follow. Click on People I Follow and add people to the appropriate list by dragging and dropping. When you go back to your homepage, you should see your home feed, which is all of the people you are following and your two new lists. One of the best things about Hootsuite is that you can schedule your postings throughout the day or weeks in the future. So now, let's make a post. Let's say you found a good article that you would like to post to both Twitter and your Facebook business page. Put in a short introduction of what the page is about and then place the URL in the shrink box and hit the shrink button. Notice that Hootsuite formats specifically for Facebook. Now click on the icon that looks like a desk calendar. You can set any time or date for this to be posted, so it allows you to spend a block of time on finding good quality content for all your social media accounts and then post them at different times in the future. Nice. There's lots more to know about using this great program. Hootsuite offers Hootsuite University, which is a paid program to make you a power user. If you don't wish to go the university route, you can always search through the blog and the help areas using the question mark icon area on the left for lots of tips and tricks. You'll find it easier to be a social media power user once you get used to these types of tools. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video, which includes more information and resources. Mm -hmm.